Lessons on how sales reps can avoid financial troubles from employers. The young man rushed into my office and almost collapsed. He just received the audited report of his sales account and the account showed that he was owing the company 7.3 million naira. He was sweating profusely. This was the first time since he joined the company four years ago that they were auditing his account. Calm down I told him. Do you have all the invoices of all the goods you have received? He said yes ma. Do you have evidence of all the payments you have made so far since you joined? Yes ma. Then. I told him to go and print out all the payment slip and all the invoices he used to receive goods. I also asked him to get all the evidence of goods he returned to the company. By the time we finished adding up all the goods sent to him and minusing all his payments, the company were the one owing him 121,000 naira. So, here are some wise advice for all sales reps from the wise one one. Initiate the audit of your account immediately. Don't wait till the company calls for it. 2. Henceforth. Get the account department to confirm via email what your new balance is after each stock lifting and after each payment you or your customer makes. If they can't do it, you start to do the maths and send to them via email. 3. Get confirmation of any stock return and the amount via mail and do the deduction. 4. Get approval for each expenses and immediately ask that the amount be deducted from your account while it's still hot. 5. Study how the company has reconciled the accounts of other exited reps and try to ensure that the issues the reps had is fixed in your account. 6. Buy gifts for people in account department anytime you visit the office and they will ensure that your account is always up to date. 7. Do a personal weekly reconciliation of the stock and debt customers are owing you have and see if it tallies with what you are owing the company. This will alert you once you start dipping your hands into the company's money to take care of yourself. 8. Resign immediately you notice that what you get from the salary the company is paying you, incentives and overage at the end of the month is not enough to meet your basic needs. The longer the stay, the deeper the financial mess you will be pushing yourself into.